sure by now you might have come across this popular transition that almost every filmmaker or every content creator has been using on the internet well it is called the overlay transition or the transition overlay in this video i'm going to show you how you can get this overlay how to download them and how to use them in your videos and this is coming up hi everybody innocent here welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so this transition overlays has become a thing recently and i'm going to show you how to use that i'll be using wondershare filmora to illustrate this to you but you can as well apply this same principles in any video editor that you are using whether premiere pro davinci resolve CapCut, any other editor that you are using so first things first how do you get this getting this is very simple just go to youtube and you can search for transition overlay so you're going to have something like this or you're going to have these results most of these are free and you can also google it and if you have any site that you can download them for free you go ahead and then you do that so once you search for this you are going to have a couple of them there are different types of them and then you can download any one of them that you want to use so if you've already installed a save from net plugin you are going to be able to download this right away else you can right click on it and then you are going to copy the link go to save from dot net and then you can paste your link over here go ahead click on download and then you can download this video so you can click on download over here and then you download this video after you've successfully downloaded the video then you head over to your video editor again i'll be using wondershare filmora 12 to do this so once you are in your editor the first thing you need to do is import the overlay so you go ahead in filmora you go to import media and then you can search for the location of your transition so i've saved them in this folder and then you can upload any one of them in this case we can try with all of these five so you open it right over here now the first thing you need to actually do is you need to cut your videos before you apply this transition or better still some people like to actually use it in the beginning of their videos so you realize that this video for instance when i play it right from the beginning nothing comes but we can use some of these overlays to make it look nice you don't want to put the entire overlay on your footage so in this case there are many of them or, or it comes in different areas so you are going to decide where you want to use it. but in most cases to make it look nice take the part that comes way faster like a flash okay so let me just move on to this part for instance you see this comes in real quick and then it goes like that so i want it right over here it begins right from here and in filmora for instance you have the marking and the mark out so you can use the marking over here to select the part that you want it to start and then you play forward to the part that after it has come and gone and then you mark it out now after you've marked this out what this basically means is that you can just drag it onto your timeline and then only that portion is going to start so you can right click and then go to crop to fit so that it fits the entire frame and then it will look nice so if you play back this is what we are going to see okay but you can see that there are a lot of blacks over here which we don't want and it's covering our footage so this is where the magic actually happens so what you do is you double click on your footage and then you go to the video properties okay so afterwards you scroll down until you see where it says blend mode now if you've been doing photoshop a bit you basically understand this okay so once you see the blend mode is currently at normal you left click and then you are going to select screen so once you select screen you realize that the black is gone so this is the before and this is the after so the black is gone and then you have only the lighting effect so at this point when you play back this is what you're going to see actually and you realize that this is the beginning of the video so if you want to place it between two footages or two transitioning footages all that you need to do is you make sure your other footage or you've cut the other footage so let me just cut over here so let me double click go to the transform and transform in a little bit so that it can transition very nicely so if you play back you see that you are doing this and then you transition into that part so what you can do then is you go back to your overlay you copy that control plus c and then you can come about a frame before the transition actually happens so right over here and then you can paste it so this is how it's actually going to look like 
you get it so there are many of them that you can apply there is this one actually which looks also very nice so let's assume that we want to use that too you can drag our transition over here obviously we, want, we don't want the blacks so we can double click on that go to the video properties and then we can scroll down a little bit go to blend mode and then we select the screen right over here so once you play back you are going to nice right but you realize that with this it comes in different forms so you don't want to use or you don't want to overuse all of them you don't want to use the entire five seconds over here so in this case we can just cut off after the first one has happened right over there so you can cut this part off and then time your two footages and place your transition over there so this is how it's going to look like and that makes it look nice now these transitions are used to make emphasis on footages or they are used to transition one footage into another but you don't want to overuse them you use it as normal and cut it very short and simple you don't want to be placing them too much but there are other ones also that you can use in some things like music videos or when you are creating cinematic looks for instance this one right over here for instance this one right over here realize that it has more to it just so if i select this part mark in and then i select let's say this part and then mark out then i'll drag it onto my timeline i'll place my cursor right over here let me mute it and then i can play over now you see that it is going to be totally black so you double click on your footage go to blend mode and then you can set this to screen okay now let's play back and see how what it's actually going to do to the footage so you see it is actually creating some nice overlay on the footage and one more thing is you can actually reduce the opacity of this one it doesn't always have to be like too much like this if you don't want it too much you can just come to the opacity here and then you can decrease it you can actually decrease it to about 20 percent so this is how it looks like when it's not decreased and you can decrease it a little bit like this as well so it doesn't always have to be like that much over your video you have full controls over all of these and it's even better when you set sound effects in it for instance right over here you're going to pause your video okay the, let's go to this part this part is actually it, it looks more like a beeping effect or a beep glitch type of effect so i can insert the beep glitch effect over here and when you play back you see that when you get there right over there it gets better when you set the sound effect and just like this you can copy and paste all of these into different parts of the video especially when you where you have the video transitioning from one point to another point about the sound effects i've already made a video on how to insert sound effects in your videos with filmora you can check the card above and in the description as well and basically that will be it on how to insert transition overlays in your videos i hope you gained value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you very much for sticking around to watch all links will be in the description you can download them and practice and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye